All right, all right, all right, guys. It's time for game three of this week's One Man Army Icy Far. Uh, of course, that last one was a One Woman Army, Big Mama. But uh, let's see what we got in this one. It is going to be a Terran versus Terran down here in the bottom right hand side in the red. It's Patman. And up here in the top left in the blue, the red Terran. It's Hurt One. Has the uh, Canadian Marine. Right? Yeah, this is from um, Base Trade Star League. I think was when, when they gave these out, right? I think it was Base Trade Star League. Got the Canadian Marine. <clears throat> it's pretty sick. Looks like uh, one's going to be going for a proxy barracks player. Remember, guys, the one-man army challenge all about sending in individual units to intimidate your opponent as much as possible. So about, just about any fun, exciting strategy was accepted. Uh, just hopefully there was more individual units harassing, running around, doing doing different things that you don't normally see. So it was very open to interpretation. If you guys want to get your replays in for next week, the challenge is carbon tax, interrupt your opponent's gas mining as much as possible. Now that just means you could maybe just harass the gases a lot, but we could also see you run in and steal both gases in their main at the very start of the game, steal their natural gases. Uh, I don't know, do, do whatever you want. There's a lot of weird shit. Even just starting with gas steals, already can trigger your opponent and make the game quite weird, even with nothing else happening. Um, <clears throat> the fudge sickles is that. So is he going to start with proxy? He's going to build marines, isn't he? He's not even going to build a reaper. Oh, he does build Okay, he does build a reaper, thank god. But he's going to build a command center down here. And then he's going to try and float a planetarian. Oof. This is big. Big boy play. Meanwhile, Patman is not scouting and going reactor first in TVT. Now you can do this. You got to go two Reapers the second that finishes. And with no second depot started and already going for a second barracks, I think Patman is doing a really... Yeah, he's trying to just go Marines. I think it's just going to be a two on one. Yeah. Some greedy shit. Some fucking greedy, man. The Reaper, go in, or right, one, you've got a big opening. You've got a big opening. Uh, Reaper, go, 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 go. You've got, you've got another five seconds before those Marines pop, even longer, six or seven seconds. Uh, the Reaper is gonna dive on into this mineral line. These SCVs uh, cruising for a bruise in here, and a whole bunch of them pull off. They say, get the fuck away from our friend, man. Get away. The Reaper's like, oi, oi, why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? He's, he keeps trying to click on that Reddit point SCV, but he can't do it. Gets the fresh mule, actually. Lovely, lovely. Snipe on that fresh mule, throws a grenade, sends a marine bouncing through the air. Does a little bit of a loop de doop Oh, if you could get that building SCV, that would be lit. Oh, oh, is he gonna do it? No. The other Reaper just chilling down there, by the way. He's like... There we go. <laughs> all right. All right. Two Reapers are out. What's the follow-up, though? Oh, no. Hurt one sending a Reaper in and microing it, and he hasn't spent money in, like, four minutes. Uh oh. <laughs> His production tab is completely empty. Oh, no, he did build a factory. Okay, okay. I was like, he hasn't built a command center. He built a factory down there. Ah, okay. He's going to float a factory in. Oh, citizen's arrest. One more SCV does go down, but the surround is good. I mean, what the what the, what the the fudge is the follow-up? What, what are we doing? Hurt one has not made the orbital yet. He's going to build that command center. It's slightly off position, unfortunately. Come on, orbital. Give me that orbital. Missing out on so many mules. So many mules. I don't know why I sound like I'm, I'm trying to trying to poop, but you know, haven't eaten fiber in three weeks. But there's just something about an orbital being this delayed that it, it makes me feel a bit backed up. He's gonna build a planetary in his main. What? <laughs> but this command center is just gonna be so exposed. What? <laughs> oh my God. This is gonna be a 45 minute game. As soon as I see someone making a planetary in their main guys, I'm like, there is, he could kill hundreds of workers and still be behind economically this game. Just because he's not gonna not gonna be building his own economy properly. That SCV comes to build a depot is like, what the fuck is that? But the Reaper comes in at the exact same moment to distract. Her one's like, oi, hey, hey, guys, guys, I'm over here. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Meanwhile, this widow mine's like, ah, uh, don't don't mind me, buddies. Oh, don't don't shoot the gas guys. Don't shoot the fucking idiot widow mine. Who is gonna fucking program the Widow Mines properly? Seriously, can someone please run a school for Widow Mines to not be fucking stupid? <laughs> that Widow Mine just went and, and killed nothing with its only shot. Her one spent minutes setting up the Reaper to distract, the Widow Mine to fire, 
And the Widow Mine does nothing. And you know what, guys? The Widow Mine might even get a second shot off. Patman, distracted, struggling to deal with two-pronged aggression. The factory is going to die in the slow zone. Don't you fucking dare. Okay, he manually targeted it. He manually targeted it. Well done, Hurt One. You can see that he actually clicked that on the SCVs in the middle of the mineral line. Otherwise, it would have done the exact same thing again. That factory is going to burn down. Behind this, are we going to see a planetary slightly off, off center? Yes, we are. Oh, no, he's going to start building SCVs. No, he cancels the SCVs and planetary off center. Yeah, and turrets. Okay, but we, we've got... Oh, he's got liberators. Okay, there isn't there is a next step. We've got liberators coming in. Oh, no, that Widowmine is not actually going to fire. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It shoots the Reaper. There's 17 SCVs in your area. One Reaper and you hit your own Reaper? How do you manage to be such a shit unit, Widowmine? Seriously. This is the unit that wins you games with a shot, but just as often, it's like, hey, fuck you. And you're like, what? Did I not... Did I, is it because I didn't give you a second serving of ice cream? Like, why do you fucking hate me so much, Widow Mines? Jesus Christ. Uh, this Liberator, on the other hand, a unit which is almost impossible to not get massive damage off, uh, does end up wrecking that natural. And because of that, Hurt One's actually up to SCVs right now. Still no orbital, but it's okay because it's taking a third command center in the center of the map. So starting to get the contain going. Um, we still haven't seen any buildings or defense to wall that off. Uh, or anything blocking the edges to stop any more aerial harassment. That being said, there are marines with stim out against literally zero defense. So Patman could push, get behind a mineral line, and completely deny the very small economy of Hurt 1. The big problem, of course, is Patman is a friend uh, of the F2 button. Now Hurt 1 here does a lovely siege up and uh, says, Hey, look, there's freedom over here. Come and get some. The SCVs are like, no thanks. We'll just keep mining minerals. We're not big fans of that. Reaper runs into the main base. This time, you'll notice he's in a lovely little nook. So there's SCVs only going to be able to bang him one at a time. So they're coming forwards and trying to give him a hand job. But uh, it's not the same as when someone's, you know, double fisting you from both sides. So the, uh, the, the Reaper does eventually go down, but only because those Marines joined the party. This Liberator still is like, no, seriously, guys. Come, there's 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 gold in the in the middle of the circle. Come and touch it. The SCV is like, dude, do you think we're stupid? We'd much rather mine minerals than die. She's like, fine! And she decides to move forward after several minutes of alerting the opponent to her presence. Patman still said, I think it's a hallucination, not understanding that that's a Protoss ability, and does end up losing an entire mineral line for his folly. So uh Patman, unfortunately a little bit in Dick Town. Uh, at this at this point Struggling there does finally clean up that liberator. We're up to 25 workers killed What's impressive here is that only a 10 worker lead despite that and uh, Hurt one is just going to to keep on doing harassment units planetaries and of course the building armor upgrade uh, This is going <laughs> That moment when you walk into the middle of the map and you get ambushed by a planetary fortress Oh my and he's stimming into it no, that's... Dude, you're going to lose so many units. Oh, my God. This is why I would never join the Terran military. Serious. It's like, sir, can't we just siege our tanks here and take it down from a distance? And he's like, yeah, but you guys will never get battle experience if you don't charge an entrenched fucking gigantic armored building. It's like, but, but sir, my, my Gauss rifle will do almost no damage to it anyway. It, it'll be almost completely ineffective. He's like, yeah, but what if we need to bayonet charge some ultralists? And you're like... Sir, I feel, I feel like that would be a pretty bad decision to ever do. I don't think I need experience at that. Uh, meanwhile, Patman is having a bit of a mental breakdown uh, and is trying to do a single siege tank drop on the... <laughs> Actually, that's what we... Okay, it's... No, it's not going to do anything because he's not targeting it on the enemy tank. And uh, tanks actually do very nice with their regular attack. It's just it has shorter range. Does end up taking out that tank drop feel like we could have just sieged the front. Might have been a bit more effective. This base is now up as well. Uh, Patman, of course, freezing up on the production now that we are on the attack. And, uh, okay, good. Pulls back from the planetary that time. Lesson learned. I think this siege tank's just barely out of range. So only one tank in range of that planetary will very slowly be able to work through there. But uh, zero macro or spending behind it. We're going to go to Patman's camera to show you guys the full glory of the uh, multiple uh, attention of this place. Oh, he just built an SCV, a Banshee, and a tank off the control groups. All right, never mind. I think, I think that'll get through the 2000 mineral bank. Um, the tanks are gonna move forward one little bit at a time. That Marauder's gonna, okay. 
<clears throat> so he's going to try to break this, and he's going to spend all of his APM staring at this. And now he's going to... No, don't stim into it! <laughs> <laughs> Go spend your money, Batman. Don't stare at this. <laughs> There's two tanks up there as well, guys. Oh, no. Oh, he's like, I gotta break this. No, no, no. Just, just go build more stuff. That's how you win. There's like so many people like, planetaries are unfair. Terrans always just turtle. And I'm like, you just need to go build stuff. Stop staring. Stop staring at it. Only fight a planetary when you can actually fight it. The actual way you beat this style of play is you just put individual marines at all the bases to stop them just getting these expansions up for free. And and then you go when you have like six tanks or whatever, siege it up, and then keep macroing while you can, your tanks take it out. But I, I do love the Banshee swap from Hurt One. He said, you know what? I love the little cloaky boy should do the trick. Baiting out stims, picking off tanks, generally being a uh, bit of a pain in the ass. And you can see that Patman's kind of going, ah, what's happening in this game? And it's frozen up really hard. It was such great macro, uh, you know, in the face of big losses earlier. But uh, where's the third and fourth command center? <laughs> and where's the vision? Unfortunately, Patman, I, I like this maneuver. I actually really like this maneuver. This is actually a beauty. I don't think there's enough tanks to really seal the deal, though. That's the problem. Drops on that tank. That tank on the low ground is going to do big damage. Ooh, ooh, no, no, no. Oh, he could have killed that one. Oh, fuck, he's still in range. He's still in range. He's still in range. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This tank's still firing. No. I like this maneuver. <laughs> Favorite. <laughs> It was so good. It was like he managed to perfectly position himself in between everything and just so he was getting hit by all of them. Like, it was almost just avoiding everything, but instead it was perfectly in between everything. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> so, yeah, you can see that basically Hurt One has all this space to just... Expand. This hasn't even been turned into a planetary. This, this is how we always see these games lost, by the way. Oh, that Banshee's savagely murdering, by the way. Last Marine does finally take it down. Um, but that's that's actually Patman's economy. 34 SCVs killed. Has stopped rebuilding them. Hasn't kept building command centers or anything like that. And is kind of just frozen right now on this point. And, and you can see, of course, that one's going to very slowly go into battle cruises. Um, I'd love to see some repair here, man. Repair the tank, repair the, the planetary, please. Um, and this, of course, is the best way to get rid of a Liberator. For those of you who don't know, you, you've got to go around the Liberation Zone and build a missile turret underneath it. Uh, it this is amazing. This Liberator part's like, Sir, do I have orders to unsiege? He's like, No, hold your ground. She's like, But really? <laughs> get wrecked. Um, these marines still don't have upgrades, by the way. No shields. No one gives a fuck about marines. Hey, Zuka, what's up, dude? Hope you had a great stream. Thanks for the 15 viewer host. Thank you, mate. So we've got Banshees, BCs, uh, still no third command center in sight. Patman. Oh my god, a third's going down. He's gonna build a depot wall over there as well. <clears throat> Unfortunately, Banshees and Battlecruisers can fly over depot walls. Spanchi's going to go across the map as well. No turret started. No turret there. No turret there. So, Patman really not responding to the uh, the fact the opponent has been Banshee harassing in this game. And I, I, I think is uh, very frozen up on, on kind of what to try to do here. <clears throat> that SCV going to go down. Banshee being a big old pain in the ass. Marines here. Where's the scan at, buddy? Kidding me. Oh, he's, he's got a scan. He's got a scan now. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's like, ah, let's go get that Banshee. Oh, where'd it go? <clears throat> Sense of faint, salty uh, aroma. Smells a little bit like sweat, flesh. A little bit of a, a sacky aroma to it, you know? 
Yeah, smells a bit like Dicktown, guys. Smells a little bit like Dicktown right now. Um, I, I feel like Patman has no fucking idea what is happening in this game at this point, and Hurt One's just like sitting there with this fucking fat Florencio, demented evil grin on his face, going, "This is how I play every game." Are those uh, are these the classic PCs or these aren't the classic ones, right? These are the the latest uh, Emojin or Special Forces or whatever the fuck they're called, right? Oh no, uh, Tirador, Tirador, that's what it's called. It's pretty cool, man. Hey, Lift Zeke, thanks for the three month thirty uh, sub, my man. Three fifty months, baby. Yeah, baby. Thank you. Ah, uh, that planetary is almost up. Hurry up, you need to erect, you need to get erect, you need to get erect, you need to get hard, 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 hard. Think sexy thoughts, think sexy thoughts, think sexy thoughts! But it's not quick enough. And, uh, your lovely, your lovely Terran partner, Patman there, smashes through, says, Mate, you're not quick enough to me. You've gotta, you know, to be with me, you gotta, you gotta get erect a little bit harder than that if you wanna party with the big boys. That one says, oh really? Teleports four battlecruisers into the base and says, You've actually been dead for 15 minutes, you just haven't known it. Patman's like, fuck. <clears throat> He's like, how do you have another planetary here? What the hell? It's mass planetary, Terran vs. Terran, hurt one. Play legit strategies. The battle cruiser is flying all over. A fifth battle cruiser teleported in there. It's right on top of the production. It's gonna try to come back. Guys, what wins? 14 Marines with no upgrades and stim. Or five plus two battle cruisers. I think we may actually see Marines get Yamato'd in this scenario. We don't see this very often, guys, but we may actually see it right now. The battlecruisers aren't clumped up. This is the best chance for, for Patman. Yamato goes down on a Viking. This battlecruiser pulls back. I think it might be able to 1 versus 14 the Marines. It's, it's winning right now. <laughs> this battlecruiser is not even part of a fight. <clears throat> oh my god. These marines just disappear, dude. That battlecruiser is doing 10 damage a shot. Oh my god. Ow, dude, says Patman. <clears throat> well played. He does leave the game. GG. GG. Yeah, there's a lot of turn players on the ladder until you get to a reasonable league whose whole strategy is like harass you with random things and then just like just like slowly expand and build planetaries and tanks everywhere. And um I feel like if you're if you're Protoss, you just like fly a prism into their main and warp in a bunch of zealots and like <laughs> win the game. I feel like if you if you're Zerg, you probably do the same thing with like a Nidus or something, but like I don't know, man. The, the, the biggest one, as the game goes on, is people just never deny their expansions. And it's just like, I'm always watching the same thing, you know, when like Flo is playing or anything, where I'm like, you, we just need to like make sure he doesn't expand. And like, you see people who just like press their select all army key and fucking just move across the map to their opponent's natural and are like, you're contained. And it's like, no, he has like seven bases on the edges of the map. Like you haven't scouted the map at all. But it's like, you're contained. And then they just like stare at their opponent's defensive zone. They're like, this is unbreakable. And then they like move into the tank and planetary fire. <laughs> and you're like, what are you doing? And they like take all the fire and they like pull back and they're like, hmm. And they like do it again. You're like, no, no, go build better, better economy, better army. And they're like, hmm. They, they always spend so long, like just kind of like feeling it out. You know, they're like, they're, it's like they, they step out of the trenches. They get like fucking shot six times. And they're like, this might be a bad idea. And they like kind of get back into the trench. <laughs> They're like, Bob, how about you try? You might be faster. He steps out of the trench, just gets fucking shot through the eye socket and falls dead. And they're like, Dylan, you want to have a go? Like they just fucking take turns, just stepping out into the machine gun fire. And it's like, guys, I think you need a better plan. Um, yet it happens so often we see games like that. Um, My man. The defensive power and the harassment power of Terran, right? It's a, uh, it's a very different sort of game when the Terran doesn't try to do any frontal push. <laughs> uh, GG's.